for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. If you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. You could always leave a thumbs up, a heart, a rose, any and everything helps with your support. So let's get to it. <laughs> let's talk Jada Pika Smith. She's talking about Will. She's talking about reconciling reconciliation and she's talking about them trying to work on the relationship but Hoda reads a letter in regards to the separation and her book has opened Will's eyes in regards to I say I say her foolery now it's like it's almost like cleanup she's trying to clean up the image she's trying to clean up what she said she just did an interview with Hoda when a month ago two weeks ago now she's speaking a whole different thing. And I think she's trying to clean it up because people are calling her out. And they're saying she's embarrassing Will in regards to her statements. Cheating with August Alcina. Embarrassing Will. Will does his thing, but we don't normally know who he's dating or who he's seeing. The Red Table talked about it. And many people are like, why now? Why not say y'all was separated? That would have cleared up a lot of things. Many people are like, y'all can do whatever y'all want. I'm tired. Is worthy and you so today as we sit here on this couch i feel worthy tell me yeah i just feel so good i've been through so much you know yeah. and when you can really look at your life and we think that life is supposed to be perfect and when uh -huh. life isn't perfect we feel like oh then i'm not worthy then something's wrong yeah. with me and that's not what it's about uh -huh. we get challenged with life in order to keep building our self-worth to keep finding uh -huh. our greatness uh -huh. you know and so that's what the book is about it's about that journey if you find another great love, or if Will finds <clears throat> another great love. There's no finding another great love, and I think that's the point. It's like, we are in a place now that we are in a deep healing space, and we are really concentrating on healing the relationship between us. So it may not be the divorce on paper anymore? There's no divorce on paper. I mean, not on paper. There might not be a divorce in theory anymore? Yeah, no. We really have been working hard. Oh, See? Okay. Well, I didn't That's know that. We might get... I was trying to. Well, I... Wait, wait, wait. I totally missed that on the whole. That's wait. the whole thing. So wait. So wait. Just so I'm a hundred percent clear, you were divorced, not on right. paper, wait. but now we might be a point where we're back together. We are working very hard at bringing our relation. Yes, bringing our relationship to back together. Back to a marriage again. Back to a life partnership. Ship. Yes, because okay. here's the thing about me. husband, wife, marriage for me, yeah, for yeah, my healing yeah. process. I came into that with very specific ideas, right? Very specific ideas that were blocks to me just seeing yeah. Will as who he is. Yeah. He can't be this perfect, idealized yeah. husband. Yes. Yes, of I have to be able to accept him for the human that he is. He yes, accepts me for the human that I am, and we want to love each other there. Okay, so you might, like, live in the same house and have the same... Yeah. Okay. Well, well, that's it's the another only re part. That's the well, only part in the special well, that I felt like got okay. lost. Well, guess oh, what? Oh, yeah. It is found. We found it today. We found it today. Jada, thank you so much. I really thank appreciate you. your time. You guys, check out the book, Worthy. It's got a lot of life lessons in it, beautifully written, and it thank tells you. you so much. Real or fake? She said, and she used her hands. Boop, we've been separated for seven years. She said that she was surprised that he called her his wife. What are we talking about? It's major cleanup. Her team is not happy about what she's been saying, how she's been saying it. Things are not adding up. They're just not adding up at all. And if Will has made a statement in regards to, Will Smith said, Jada Pika Smith's book woke him up to 
her true feelings, calling her resilient and clever. When you've been with someone for more than half your life, sort of emotional blindness sets in. Maybe he's seeing the selfishness part of her, what she wanted in August, what her feelings were in regards to Tupac, not appreciating a man that is trying to provide for her, the children, the life, the house, working. Mm -mm. She don't appreciate that. Many people feel that it's, it's waking her up from this interview. Many people not on her side and calling her out again. Uh, I just watched, <laughs> y'all, I just watched a video of a psychologist breaking it down in regards to Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith. And he was like, y'all, do y'all hear this? Do y'all see this? He basically said, I can't call it. He said he, he doesn't know her personally. He can't say true, false if she's a narcissist. He don't know. But he feels as if, allegedly, he feels as if she's slightly selfish, self-centered, want everybody to focus on her feelings, her beings, what she needs, what she wants. Because when you look at the whole synopsis of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, even if he is or isn't cheating, okay, he has never outright made it noticeable or known, okay? Will Smith had said, Jada... I almost never talked to you again. And then you have August Alcina saying he got permission from Will to be with his wife. <laughs> and then you have Stephen A. Smith going in, going in on Jada. Clean up, y'all. Clean up time. Clean up in aisle 9, 10, 11, and 12. Y'all, this is a mess. I didn't think it was going to get like this. I'm going to play this Stephen A. Smith thing again. Well wishes. Jada's doing cleanup. Her team wants her to clean this up. Clean up what's going on with you and Will. Now Will will step in and do an interview or a conversation. That may be his only statement because this is what you think about it. Will Smith is on a trip. Jada's not with him. Will Smith is on a trip by himself. Will Smith on a trip doing him. Will Smith may not be okay with what she has going on in regards to clean it up, you allegedly, people feel she's embarrassed him. She's humiliated him. She's put out what she needs, what she wants. She's focused allegedly on herself, her self-well-being. I feel, I feel for them kids. They're grown adults though. Jaden is working on feeding the hungry. He's working on cleaning water. So they did something right. But I think the strength comes from Will Smith. Will Smith had a horrible upbringing. So you would think that Will Smith needs a woman that is strong in mind, body, soul, and spirit. And that's not emotionally hurting. Because it's almost like, um, what do they call it? Self-bonding, trauma bonding. And you see it in the kids and it's like, okay, what's going on with Willow? What's going on with Jaden? But well wishes. Jaden is doing the doggone thing. He's out there helping the needy and cleaning water and feeding and feeding people. Willow's out there singing. So I think it took strength from Will to have a strong relationship and helping the children because it just seems like even, even, even Jada Pinkett Smith talked about checking out. 
she talked about she was checked out and she thanked her family for being there for her in her time of need and writing the book. Let me see if I can play it. And she talked about writing the book. Hold on, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it, y'all, because she talks about. So then we're going to go to a clip about her and the family. So Will is there, Jaden's there, um, the whole family's there. So then that's them talking about the book. Now let's listen on what the mom had to say about Will and Jada in regards to she don't like that people are talking about Jada and Will has not been so innocent. Both Will and Jada have made a mess of their relationship, conversating about the relationship, the August Alcina, her writing this book. His book wasn't as messy as her book. Let's be very clear. He got applause for his book in regards to st speaking on what he needs to do for himself. But everybody's talking about the award ceremony. If you got on stage mad at 
Chris Rock. He allegedly did what he did, and then Jada didn't talk with him prior to. They just went to the award ceremony, and then she asked, Will, are you okay? No, he's not okay. He's in a relationship. He don't seem happy. He don't seem at peace. Will they get a divorce at this point now? It's basically saying, Jada's saying she's trying to reconcile. But will Will reconcile? Is his eyes open? Is he ready to separate? Find happiness. Find someone that loves and appreciates him, that wants to be with him, that wants to do life with him in a peaceful manner. Well wishes. Everyone have a great day.